Hi guys, welcome back. My twin sister and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you all for stopping by today and thank you all for checking us out. We are truly grateful and thankful to each and every one of you. Thank you all for subscribing to, to Twin Oracles, for liking this video. Thank you for hitting that bell. That way you don't lose our channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are back again to do your Twin Flame reading. We're gonna take a quick peek and see what is going on with you and your Twin Flame, our beautiful collective. We will be working with the Solus Divinity Tarot and we will be clarifying with the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck. So let's hop on in. It will be a general reading. So always make sure that your intuition is taking precedency over what we say. Also, it is a timeless reading. Whenever this video finds you, that's when it will most resonate with you. So have faith and trust in the timing. <clears throat> let's take a quick moment here to be grateful and thankful for all of the blessings in our lives. God, we thank you for being here with us today. We thank you for all your love, your support, your protection, your compassion, and your tender love and care. Thank you all for all of our provisions. We're grateful and thankful for the food on our table, the clothes on our back, the roofs over our head. Thank you for our perfect health. Thank you for our friends, our family, our fur babies, and our babies as well. We're grateful and thankful for being able to wake up yet again this morning and be able to take deep breaths to sustain ourselves. Thank you for this breath that we have for waking up this morning as not everyone did. We're grateful. We love you, God. Thank you. All right, our beautiful collective. Let us hop on in and see. Let us see. Are you in union with your twin flame? Are you in separation? Are you about to come into union? What is going on? What is going on with our beautiful collective? What is going on? All right. What is going on with our collective? Thank you. Whoa. That's a, uh, the energy, okay. <clears throat> All right, some of you are dealing with fear. You begin this reading with the Three of Swords. I'm sorry about the darkness in this camera. I'm trying to make it as light as possible, but. So some of you are dealing with some kind of heartache, some kind of pain. It could be due to separation. Um, you know, maybe you were with your twin flame and then you separated from each other, or maybe you're going through a breakup period, okay? Some of you could be going through um, healing sh inner shadows, your fears. You could be doing the inner work. Some of you could be healing fear itself. Some of you could be facing fear itself. All right, next we have It is very dark in here, I'm so sorry. I don't like it when my videos are dark. Oh. It's not gonna work. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you know what? I feel like this is part of the reading. For some of you, you could be going through a dark night of the soul. The next card you have here is the Queen of Swords, okay? So for some of you, um, you could have ended something with someone you could have ended a relationship, you could have ended a friendship, um, maybe called it quits from a, with a dear loved one here. You know, this could be, or someone ended it with you, okay? Take it how it resonates, flip the roles if need be. But, you know, for some of you, definitely, you're going through some kind of hardship, some kind of separation. Maybe there is definitely a breakup here. Next, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, it's interesting, the Knight of Pentacles is someone that takes their time. So for some of you, you know, maybe you met your twin flame, then there was a separation because someone needed a time out. Someone got scared because maybe they're this. If you met your twin flame and there was a separation, 
It feels as though there was a timeout needed because one of you, you or the other person, got scared because the connection was so strong and the energy between you two was so strong. It was too much for them to handle, too much for you to handle all at once. And because you or them or both of you have not experienced such um, a connection so strong in your life, it was very foreign and it was also very scary at the same time. So it was uncomfortable. So someone here needed to take a time out, you or the other person needed to take a time out in order to be able to sort through their emotions and feel feel this energy by energy, taking their time to feel it energy by energy, okay? Next, you have the world card. So also, one of you or both of you could have been needing, you or the other person or both of you needed to pull back, to pull away, maybe even ghost the other person because they had to close out a cycle first. They weren't ready. It wasn't the right timing. It was almost like when you guys met, the time wasn't fully ripe and the time wasn't fully right, but you were meant to come into contact during that time. It was fated, it was destined for you to meet each other at that time, but it wasn't the right time to pursue a full-fledged, full-on relationship at that time, okay? So you or the other person had to close something out here. It could be work, it could be closing out a previous relationship here with the Three of Swords, um, maybe needing to heal from this previous relationship that was closed out with the Three of Swords, but there was definitely something that came to an end in order to allow for this new be beginning between you and this person. So I am feeling as though you or the other person, you, you did meet. You did come into union with you and your twin flame. You have met, but it was like it didn't take flight. It didn't take off the ground. Um, perhaps someone ghosted someone, something of the sort. And it was because it wasn't the right time. Someone had to end something. The good news here, though, is that I feel this completion, this ending that has happened, is now, now the time is right and ripe for this new beginning to happen, okay? Now the good news is that you might be receiving a message from this other person saying, hey, you know, do you want to go for coffee? Do you want to go for dinner? Do you want to go for drinks? Let's talk. Okay, um, you might be wanting to reach out to the other person or you might be receiving a message from the other person. So don't be surprised if you receive a message from the other person, okay? Um, it just feels like someone wasn't ready, they felt tied up, it wasn't fully the right time to pursue this connection, although it was time to, you know, meet in this connection, okay? The meeting of it was appropriate. You were supposed to meet when you did, um, you know, it was just not the right time to continue to pursue each other at that time, okay? Healing was required, endings were required in order for this new beginning to happen, and don't be surprised if a message comes through now. All right. Let us... Clarify with the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck. God, what would you like to tell our beautiful collective? There we go. We have our cards. That was fast. All right, so the first card out is number 11, which to me clarifies and verifies, validates that this is a Twin Flame union. It is under the suit of a romantic messages, and it says, when I look into your eyes, I see the universe, and it activates me. So this is what I'm picking up with. You or the other person, when you had met, you and or the other person or both of you, felt and realized that this was a very deep and profound connection. A connection so strong that neither of you have ever experienced before. And so maybe perhaps that was the, t the reason why someone needed to pull back, you or the other person. It was so profound that the eyes, when you looked at each other's eyes, it was some sort of activation that would happen when you looked in each other's eyes, but it was also expand and open up each other's souls when you looked at each other in the eyes. So very, very deep, profound connection that you really do ultimately, number one, have to be ready for, and number two, you have to really understand what kind of connection this is in order to welcome it with your, op with your heart open-heartedly, okay? Next, you have number one. So you have one, 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 okay? Some of you might see the numbers 111 a lot. 
Next, this is under the suit of mission. It says, I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is part of that. So for some of you, you are the other person or you and the other person, like I said, you had to close out a cycle here. This is right below the world card and the world card is completion, closing out a cycle, an ending that allows for a new beginning here. Um, so beautiful to see and you know it's it's great advice as well to focus on you focus on your life focus on your hobbies you know artistic endeavors creative endeavors if you like to you know play the guitar play the guitar comment down below if you play the guitar that's awesome if you like to sing sing if you like to dance dance if you like to paint paint you know pursuing taking time out to put yourself first and to pursue your life mission and your life path so you're ready and prepared for your other half when this person does come in. And again, don't be surprised if you receive a message from them. All right, so comment down below if you play the guitar or if you see 111 a lot, or if you even see the number 11 a lot. Also, if you're going through a breakup, let us know. We're very curious and intrigued. Thank you all for being here. I just saw 1111 on the clock. And we're very grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you for liking this video upon exiting and subscribing to Twin Oracles. We're truly grateful. We love you very much and let us know how this video resonated with you. Until the next time, bye for now.